Thanks, team. When you're ready. Scott, it doesn't get much bigger. I'm playing against the box. What do you expect from them on Friday night? Yeah, I guess we know um, the South Africans' DNA and how they want to play the game. Um, yeah, at Twickenham, it's a pretty amazing stadium. So it's yeah, it's a, it's a perfect sort of build up that we need. Um, yeah, heading into the World Cup. Well, you obviously set out the, the needs and tests when you know, a few weeks without foot down your belt. Is it? Like fire, does it make you a bit hungrier um, to get out there, especially given what the occasion will be? Yeah, I guess it's um, their body's feeling fresh, so yeah, I'm excited to get out there on set, uh, Friday night. Um, and yeah, you don't need much more motivation than uh, playing the spring box, so yeah, um, the way they play and that sort of thing, it's always um, a huge occasion for us uh, big boys up front. Is it? Is it a good one to have? You know, World Cup just around the corner, France and, and the opener, a challenge like the Springboks. You know, how, how significant and important is it for this group that to kind of have that challenge just on the eve of the World Cup? Yeah, for sure. I think um, as always, like this year, the, the team has been really focused in um, each game. Um, and this week it's a Springboks, so um, it's giving them the respect and applying our game, how we want to beat the Springboks. So, that might change as, as the year goes on, and um, yeah, we've just honed in on who we're, we're playing on on Saturday or, or Friday, and um, yeah, our, our, our mindset is just to keep getting better. How much confidence can you take over that one over the box in the championship? What do you not think about that at all? Is that fast? Like, can you still hold on to that confidence? Yeah, I, I, you definitely get um, confidence from that, but um, within that game, I think, yeah, we started really well, um, and the box, they actually wrestled back into that game, put a bit of pressure on our breakdown, so, um, yeah, they'll learn from that, and they'll probably uh, want to implement that from the start with the likes of Malcolm Marks and that, um, yeah, starting, so. Question for both you, <coughs> just been speaking to Ian about it as well. Um, and you heard that Steve Hansen was joining up the Wallabies backroom staff for a few days. Surprised? Yeah, 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 yeah it is um, a little bit surprising. Um, but yeah, I guess it's professional rugby these days, I guess. There must be something in it for him. Or when you lost a bet, something that's going on. <laughs> yeah. There's a chance he's maybe double agenting. He might get some notes in the Wallabies coming back the other way. Yeah, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think we've sort of learnt the last couple of years there's plenty of stuff going off field that's um, trying to distract us, so that's quite fitting, I guess, but we were focusing on um, the South Africans this week. Tyrell, were these the ones that you sort of like your lips at as a you know, front row of the box? Um, doesn't the challenge doesn't really get any, any greater than that, does it? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's probably no greater test as a forward than going up against the spring box. You know, we know, like Scoot said, their DNA and how, how they try and win the game and and their set piece is a big part of that. So, yeah, be an awesome test. Are, are you feeling things are starting to kind of ramp up a little bit at the moment? You know, World Cup is, is just around the corner. I know you've obviously just got this one to go, but is there a, a feeling at all that that things are starting to, to ramp up a little bit with that World Cup so close? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, without looking too far ahead, I think this is a pretty good uh, warm-up leading into that first game against against the French. Um, but yeah, we're just really excited about this week and, and going up against the box at Twickenham, which is sold out, I believe, and is an awesome place to play. Uh, Tyrell Wolf, Steve Hansen, who joined the Wallabies for a few days as well, talking about the fact that you the uh, Wallaby in waiting? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about a Wallaby in waiting, but um, it's been thrown around a little bit. I know Groot is another one who was born in Australia, and yeah, we get a little bit of stick for it, but not too much, yeah. Scott, what does it all mean if it doesn't play golf for a day off? Is it something that doesn't play golf for a day off? Yeah, we went down to Brentford uh, for the club, so it was, yeah, it was, it was really um, awesome. and. It's pretty grateful for them to open up their doors and um, give us insight into a different code and 
uh, yeah, it was it was a great day. Scott, six two split on the bench. There's a couple of locks preparing to back you up. Is a starting lock? Does that change anything for you about how much game time you might get or your points? Yeah, I think um, nothing too much cha uh, changes too much. I guess like um, yeah, we want to start the test match with high intensity and um, yeah, whatever time there is a substitution. Like um, yeah, we want to sort of give it a, give it our all till that moment. Scott, I know you've probably been asked about this a thousand times in five years, or at least the first time the three of you played together for the All Blacks. But does does, does it ever get old either for the three of you or for your parents, having all of you in the same old black side? No, it doesn't. I think, um, yeah, it's something we never take for granted, like lining up um, in the anthem. It's always a moment there. You, uh, I guess, think about, you know, your parents and grandparents and um, family, I guess, um, being able to give you that opportunity and I guess some of the hard work is... Um, that we've got, that we've done to get to that point. So it's, yeah, never taken for granted. Yeah. Uh, Scott, uh, Sam White didn't play against the box last time, and he couldn't pack down alongside him in the second row this week. How much relief does he give to you as a lock, and I guess the team as a whole? Yeah, Sam's uh, great. I guess. Um, yeah, this year there's been a lot of competition uh, with Brody, myself, and and Sam. So uh, with. Brody being out, I think, um, yeah, it's good to pack down alongside Sam, someone familiar, I guess, and um, yeah, he's he's firing and excited about Friday. How do you view that competition? You know, you're all vying for two starting jerseys because it must be tough in a way to support each other when again, you want to play footy. Yeah, I think it's a good uh, headache for the coaches to sort of work out who they're going to select and. Um, yeah, I guess any internal competitions, it's good as long as you're not, you know, um, yeah, we all, we all, we're all working, I guess, together, but yeah, there's some good competition at training, which is, um, yeah, it's good for the team. Well done. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.